So today will be one of a three part series and we're going to start with New Year running. We're going to talk about why it is a waste of time. If you enjoy running, then fine, carry on running. If running is part of a sport that you do, then fine, carry on running. If you've been running for years, we're not telling you to stop, crack on, keep doing your thing. For those of you that have started running in the new year, yes, it's better than doing nothing. If you've gone from being a couch potato to running twice a week, well done, you've made a start. However, we do have some problems with running. Fuck it, <laughs> First problem, and probably one of the most crucial problems that is gonna um, detriment your health is if you have gone from doing absolutely nothing to getting in a pair of trainers and then stomping on the concrete, you are putting your body through so much stress. If you're not mechanically sound, your joints are gonna take a battering. With your running, you can put anywhere between four to 10 times your body weight through your joints. So, starting that again if you've been going doing absolutely nothing to running you are putting your body under so much stress let alone the fact that you're probably carrying a little bit more around the midriff you are again are putting a lot more stress through your body on top of what Jack's just said about the amount of stress you're putting through your body when running if you're a complete beginner to any sort of training you have no foundation of strength to be able to go out and run and if you're like, right, new year, new me, 5K today, you've got to have some sort of strength for your body to be able to do that safely. If you have no background of training, it's really not gonna do you any good. We feel that running is not sustainable because, previous point, you're likely to get injured. Two, it gets boring pretty quick. Comparing it to, say, team sports, you go to training, it's different every night. Play a game at the weekend, different. Go to the gym, you can switch up exercises, reps, sets, reps, rest times, classes, on your own. Running, you're always just gonna be running. You go a bit further or a bit quicker, but that will get boring very fast, especially if it's not your thing. Not only are you taking up a physical challenge, you're also picking the worst time of the year to start running. January, cold, wet, windy, not for me. Oh, it's not looking great, is it? <laughs> Next point, and before I say this, I'm gonna remind you, so I don't get an army of runners after me, that if you like running, keep running. We're not telling you to stop running if it's something you enjoy. This is for people on that New Year's health kick that don't really know what to do, so they just go, cool, I'm gonna go running. We see it, you've probably seen it, you might even have done it. You set off on this running journey, new year, new me, and within three weeks, you quit because it sucks, you don't really like it, you go back to normal life, you get no results, and it's a waste of time. Lastly, typically running long distances doesn't make you look good. I'm gonna say nine out of 10 people always want to look toned. We always say that tone. <laughs> They want to have muscles on show, they want to have a good ass, good legs, typically girls, men, upper body, they want to be pumping. Running two or three times a week isn't going to make you look like that. Yes, we have just crucified running, but please do not take up running just because it is free. Your health is an investment, not an expense. Finding something you enjoy and you can stick to you won't mind parting with a bit of cash for it. You will actually probably be excited by it and look forward to it, and you will feel the benefit of paying for something that gives back to you, as opposed to slogging through things that, yes, cost you no money or is really cheap, but you don't really like. 
invest in gym membership, not a pair of trainers.